Houdini was a headliner in the top vaudeville circuits. His audiences were poor people, carriers, peddlers, policemen, children. His life was absurd. He went all over the world, accepting all kinds of bondage and escaping. He was roped to a chair, he escaped. He was chained to a ladder, he escaped. He was handcuffed, his legs were put in irons, he was tied up in a straitjacket and put in a lock cabinet, he escaped. He escaped from bank vaults, nailed up barrels, sewn mail bags. He escaped from a zinc line, nade piano case, a giant football, a galvanized iron boiler, a roll top desk, a sausage skin. His escapes were mystifying because he never damaged or appeared to unlock what he escaped from. The screen was pulled away and there he stood, disheveled but triumphant beside the inviolate container that was supposed to have contained him. He waved to the crowd. He escaped from a sealed milk can filled with water. He escaped from a Siberian exile van, from a Chinese torture crucifix, from a Hamburg penitentiary, from an English prison ship, from a Boston jail. He was chained to automobile tires, water wheels, cannons, and he escaped. He dove, manacled from a bridge, into the Mississippi, the sign, the mercy, and came up waving.